Hi, my name is Trish Davies. I'm a full-time lifestyle entrepreneur and the owner of LeisureLifestyle.com. You're here on my YouTube channel, which is all about sharing tips with you around business, investment, and lifestyle. Today, I want to share with you five tips, uh, investment tips for beginners or investment ideas for beginners. Now, tip one is all about investing in yourself. I have for the last 12 years uh, done that, exactly that. And as a result of running a business or owning a business and also having a real estate investment company, uh, the biggest growth or the biggest reason for the growth of those two companies is investing in myself. And that's when I talk about investing in yourself, I talk about investing in the education, investing in the training, the mentorship, and more importantly, the coaching and the masterminding. Coaching and masterminding have been the key ingredient in the success of my journey as a business owner and a real estate investor over the last 12 years. Tip number two is all about getting out of cash and getting into assets. And when, when I talk about getting out of cash, I mean, what's the interest rate, savings deposit rate that you can get in your country, in maybe the United States, in the UK, I know here in Australia, the maximum you can get for maybe a 12 month saving term deposit is about 3%. And so by the time you borrow or leverage on money, on funds, and you factor into account inflation, you're actually going backwards. So. Uh, I highly suggest getting out of cash and uh, recommend getting into assets. And that's what leads me into tip number three, and that's getting into income producing assets. And that's what I've done. My whole journey, my whole entrepreneurial journey has been all about generating cash flow, uh, generating income, and then putting them into revenue producing assets, assets that cash flow. Uh, there is there is a strategy here in Australia, which is very very common which a lot of people do and that is they get out of their cash They go and borrow money from the bank and then they invest in assets that are negative cash flow So it's negative each month. So by the time the income comes in the expenses goes out There is a negative cash flow at the end of each month and so therefore you need to have that job to continue supporting those negative cash flow assets. And the more of them that you buy, the bigger the gap, the bigger the negative cash flow, the more that you have to fund on a monthly basis. And it's a bit of a cycle and people never ever get out of their jobs based on the type of assets that they buy. The, um, the tip number four is all about uh, doing your research before you start investing because real estate is not the only vehicle that you can invest in. If you have a business idea that you want to invest in, perfect opportunity to be able to start investing, start generating cash flow, and then generate and then forward that cash flow then into revenue producing assets. But then the question is, what sort of business am I going to build? There are plenty of business models out there. There's MLM, network marketing, there is, um, you can actually start, you know, selling your own products, your own services. You can go into online business. You can go into affiliate marketing. There are so many different business models that you can do out there. You can even go into a traditional business. But the most important fact of this model is, you know, producing the cash flow and then putting, directing that cash flow into revenue producing assets. And again, doing your research around the type of assets that you want to invest in. And if it is real estate, doing research around the area, where, you know, where are you going to invest? What type of assets? Because there's so many different uh, assets you can invest in. You can invest in uh, single family residentials, commercials, multi-family. There are so many different types of assets to invest in. So again, it requires research around that. But again, if you can get the people, the mentors, the coaches that have already done it, and can share that information with you as part of a coaching program or mentorship, uh, then that's awesome. And uh, tip number five is all about investing in those things that you understand. And I must admit, uh, for an online business, I run two online businesses and I really didn't understand them when I first started. 
Uh, now, two years down the track, I've made that decision to reskill and to be coached and to have the mentoring uh, and to be part of a community and a program, which has helped me to reskill and upgrade those skills and help me to build an online business to what it is today. Uh, real estate, I've always understood real estate from even as a very young person. And I've always invested in real estate here in this country in Australia and internationally in America. And so as a result of that, um, you know, I fully, fully understand. And it's, it's a journey. It's a journey as well. You have to start somewhere and by taking action and, and working towards those goals that you want to achieve, you learn as you go along and then you start to understand more and more how these business models work. That's my share today, the five tips, the five investment ideas for beginners, uh, how to invest your money. And, uh, and, and again, it's all about going to your financial professionals and getting the right recommended advice based on your own certain circumstances, because every, everyone's circumstances are very, very different, but they're going to also help you around investing money, investing money wisely. Uh, but this video here, is for someone that wants to go out, start a business and, uh, and look at investing in particular uh, revenue producing assets. Uh, that's my share, trishleisurelifestyle.com, a life of freedom and choice. And if you get to this video on YouTube, press that red subscribe button and you'll get my daily updates. Bye for now.